Hey everybody, it's Will. Uh, today I'm doing this video on how to make an incubation chamber if you have any warm weather strains or if you're doing any multi-spore inoculations. Um, you're going to need a little bit of a warmer area to give them that push that they need. Um, especially if your home is in, uh, is in a warmer area or staying at a moderate room temperature around 75. Um, because it's winter and I pay for gas heat, our home stays around 70, 71. So um, our strains like the torque are growing a little bit slower. So what we're doing is creating our incubation chamber here. So uh, you're just going to need a few simple things. Uh, we have uh, two totes that are the same size so they can stack on top of each other. And we have a seedling mat. These things get really hot. Um, if you want, you can buy a, uh, a temperature adjuster that you can plug this into and then you can moderate the temperature of this, but otherwise it will get uh, pretty warm. So that's why we have two tubs. If you want to get the temperature um, adjuster, it would be more efficient and you only need one tub, but uh, we, we just had a couple of these and we didn't want to go out and get the temperature adjuster, so this was cheaper for now. Um, so we filled this with about um, two inches of water. We're just going to lay the mat down wherever you have space to put your tubs and just plug it in. And then put your tub with water on top of the, of the mat. Make sure it's centered so the heat gets evenly distributed. And then take your jar tub that's gonna, that you're going to put your jars in and just set that on top. Push it down in there a little bit. The water will rise up around the sides. Um, there you have it, an incubation chamber. Um, this will reach some sort of equilibrium. The water will get to a certain temperature and uh, then it will just maintain its, its warmth. You're not going to want to put one straight onto this heat mat if you don't have the, th the temperature adjuster like I was saying because uh, the bottoms of your of your jars will get too hot and mycelium might die off on those ends and not colonize that area. So we're just going to go ahead and get some, uh, some jars in there. Alright, so we finished our incubation chamber. Uh, two totes, bottom one has water, seedling heat mat, it's already getting warm, and put our jars in there. Um, if you have any questions, uh, throw that down. Um, if you like this video, hit a thumbs up, share on Facebook and Twitter. Other than that, you've tuned into the Myco Symbio, uh, Propagate and Myceliate. <laughs>